Pisces. <laughs> All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Um, this is only for the Pisces. Um, as of now, um, you guys are going to be having your readings. Uh, um, where you have your own zodiac energies, so you don't have to share with the rest. So you can just use the, the stamp, the timeline stamp in order to receive your messages. As you are cross watching for other people, and it is very important for you to cross watch to find out what is coming up in your partner's life. What is happening in your partner's life when you're cross watching? You go to the earth sign. Um, the sun sign, um, the hurt sign, the the hair sign, and the fire sign, and look for their time stand where they are in order to cross watch. So, as uh, um, you Pisces are aware, I do. Um, I do the um, reading separate, so um, it's going to be, a, you know, changing the guards. Sometimes changes needs to happen. Get to know the other person. Pisces, whatever is happening, get to know the other person. As you reveal your innermost um, self to each other, your bond deepens. So Pisces, a lot of you Pisces, so I see you are going to be working on your relationship um, you are definitely going to be working on your relationship, whatever is coming up and transpiring. Now, Pisces, I see love is coming at you. Some of you Pisces could be getting married, or some of you Pisces could be thinking about getting divorced. So I see divorce could be coming up for you Pisces in the first week. A lot of you Pisces are looking inwards. Um, there it is, the five of swords wandering. Um, and, uh, um, is quite worried about your marriage and where your marriage is moving to. So in the first week, I see a lot of you Pisces are on your own thinking about uh, that your marriage has finally come to an end. As some of you are unexpectedly never expected this to happen. So if you notice, uh, um, that is the situation where a lot of you realize that your marriage has come to an end. Some of you had not seen this coming. Some of you have seen this coming. And now it is finally here. I see a lot of you Pisces are worried. Where are you going to be finding the money to pay alimentation for your kids and that sort of a thing? So this is really coming up for a lot of you Pisces so who, um, you know, your marriage has come to a point where um, you know, they're realizing, you're realizing that, uh, yes, uh, it is really going to be coming to an end. I see some sort of, uh, for you, it's like, it's peace, but yet still, this peace comes within your soul because you realize that this person was not meant for you. This, uh, this marriage that you were in was not meant for you, but it is peace, but it is as if, uh, um, you are going to need a lot of money to move forward. And as if you are not seeing where this is coming from, or this marriage, this divorce is going to be costing you a lot. And it's as if it is inevitable because you can't change the ends of time. So I see an end is coming up for a cancer, whether it's in a relationship with a cancer. I see an end is coming up for this cancer. Um, this cancer, uh, some of you were in a relationship with a cancer or married to a cancer. And I see that this cancer was only in the marriage for money or only in the relationship for money. I see your end in this. And I see um, a lot of you are going to be winning some sort of a legal issue or divorcing a cancer. And it's going to be um, finding new love. It's as if... Uh, the divorce is finally over and the new love is going to be coming in. So a lot of you who were married to a cancer is going to be divorcing this person. And I see the divorce is finally over and new love is going to be coming in for you. So that is kind of cool. The third week is a fantastic week. It is a week where um, you're reconnecting with a past love. 
um i see you pisces are going to be reconnecting with a past love it could be happening um in the third week but some of you it's going to be happening in the fourth week that a past love um you're going to be re reconnecting with this past love now whoever this past love is is someone you have known um it's a karmic um, relationship and i see you're going to be reconnecting with this person and it's going to be balancing out uh, some sort of issues and situation um that was transpired in your life okay so i see that that is going to be good in the third week what we're also seeing is that uh, some sort of a karmatic relationship is going to be ending so it is it's coming up like a whole lot of marriage for you um yeah a whole lot of marriage for you cancers it's like a whole lot of marriage is going to be ending a whole lot of marriages whatever is happening whatever is transpiring it's like a whole lot of marriages or ending or a whole lot of long-term relationship just you could have lived with someone for 10 years never get married you're engaged this is going to be ending i see the situation is coming in and a transition is definitely coming up and this is going to be good so um that is a wonderful alignment of energy that is going to be um transpiring so positive um information and positive situation where it's as if some of you are realizing that uh, um a marriage that you were in was not based on love but it was based on materialistic stability and now you're just realizing this and you're deciding okay now i'm understanding um it did not serve me any good but i'm letting it go the last week i see some sort of a news is going to be coming in where a taurus is going to be coming in your life so a Taurus is coming in some of you Pisces life as a new love. Whoever this Taurus is, I see this Taurus is uh, hoping to have a relationship with you. So maybe you have known this Taurus from a past lifetime. We're not knowing, but I see that some of you are going to be spending the new year with a new love because I see new love is coming in. So I see a lot of you men are just uh, realizing that, um, all right, it's okay. Um, uh, my marriage is um uh yeah uh, my marriage is over um and there is no going back uh, um uh, you know your partner has filed for divorce you have filed for divorce and there is no going back and you're accepting that you're like okay um I, you know it was a lesson well to learn but you're not having any bitterness you are taking this lesson and moving forward and understanding that, um, you know, life is full of surprises, but you're at a place now where you're understanding that uh, marriages is not always built on love, but it was built on a more materialistic wealth of who had the deepest pocket. And I think a realization is going to be coming up for you, Pisces. So new love is definitely coming in. There is no question. And um, some of you who had met someone new is going to be coming clean with this person, letting this person know exactly where you stand. Because a lot of you are coming out of a marriage or a long-term relationship. And this new person is coming in your world. And you're going to be honest and open to this person and said look this is what where i'm coming from and you know give me some time i do care about you but at this moment i need to figure out what is my new direction so um a lot of you are going to be really just really being honest and open up um to um whoever you're in a relationship with um, a lot of you um, could be returning to a Taurus. Um, a Taurus could be returning in your life or this Taurus could be someone you have divorced and you realize that, um, you know, this Taurus is alone. You are alone. And I see um, that you're going to be regaining um, um, connection with uh, this person because they're going to be finding out that this person um, is meant for you, okay? So it is a karmatic relationship, but it's a karmatic relationship where um, 
this person is someone who is uh, uh, upfront. They just um, let you know what is going on. So a lot of you um, could be meeting um, a new love, especially in the last week. Um, this new love, um, unexpectedly, you're not aware, but I see that this new love is financial stable. Do not go into this relationship if you're going, going in the relationship because of your materialistic stability. Because when this person find out they're going to be um, ending the relationship very fast. So get to know to the, this person. Don't rush into this person. Get to know who this person is. So whatever is happening and transpiring, um, you know, just put a lock on it and don't rush. Just take your time. Um, as you take your time, you get to learn someone much better and then you will understand, um, you know, where they're coming from and why they make the decision that they make in your life. And then the same thing for you, because relationship is based on trust and it's based on honesty and uh, uh, loyalty towards uh, um, you. So you need to find out who is this person, what has transpired, why are they single and before you step in um, another relationship, because a lot of um, Pisces people just go in relationship with their eyes closed and you're going to be realizing that, you know, it's not the way um, because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you're going to be realizing that you could be blindly entering another relationship that is going to be ending up uh, just as your marriage or your old relationship. And that is it, Pisces, you wear your heart on your sleeve and you need to stop doing that because that is costing a lot of you a whole lot of pain, but also a lot of financial loss, okay? So be aware of this. So I see, um, Pisces, you're definitely uh, understanding that there is no return with a marriage or um, this has gone um, through the gate. Um, a lot of you or thinking about a cancer, whether or not you should return to a cancer. Um, you are going to be, um, you know, speaking to this cancer, um, open up yourself to this cancer, trying to figure out uh, um, whether or not it's viable for you and this cancer to have any form of relationship or any sort of relationship. Um, so I see that that is something that some of you are thinking about in the second week, whether or not, because this cancer is also a very karmatic person. And, uh, um, this person wants to reconnect with you in some sort of a way. So you have to figure out who is this cancer and what exactly is happening and transpiring. Um, a lot of you are, um, or in some sort of a divorce process. Um, some of you ladies are going to be receiving some sort of a help from a corporation because this corporation is going to be finding out that you were unfairly treated in a, in a marriage. So I see some of you um, Pisces ladies are going to be receiving some sort of a help from a corporation institution that has... Uh, uh, realize that your partner has not been um, one of the most um, viable um, relationship person because the corporation is going to be finding out that your husband has not treated you kindly. So I see love is going to be coming in for you ladies that is getting divorced, that a corporation institution is going to be helping you to resolve your divorce and making sure that you come out of having financial um, stability with the kids moving forward. So that is a, a kind of new good news for you guys. I got a girl, but um, we're moving on um, to the cancers to see what's coming up for the cancers. Namaste until next time. Welcome, um, ladies and gentlemen. This is the energy vibration. For the Cancer Sun Moon Horizon sign, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this uh, month is the month of December with the love readings. Let go of control issues. A lot of you are having and dealing with some sort of a control issues with a fire sign person. I see the end is coming in for this fire sign person. So a lot of you 
um, cancers that was in some sort of a relationship or some sort of a um, marriage or friendship with a fire sign person. I see an end is here. A cycle is no now over with a fire sign person. And I see you're letting go of the control that you had over this person. Um, news are going to be coming in from a cancer and I see whatever the news is, you're going to be realizing, um, you cancers who have been seeing another cancer that this is now over. So it's as if some of you cancers were seeing another cancers or was married to another cancer. I see that this is now over. You're going to be fi finally realizing, um, that the control issues that you guys were dealing with is now over and I see um, some of you are going to be moving forward from this relationship. Then I see um, that you men, you cancers men, um, is dealing with um, divorce issues um, and this divorce issue that a lot of you cancer men um, are dealing with some sort of a divorce issue and I see you realize that um, this divorce is final. Um, some of you are out looking for a new love. Um, this is not going to be happening in this month. I see um, a lot of you could be dealing with a lot of divorce issues. Um, however, this is coming up and transpiring. It's not a month for love for you, Cancers. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. A lot of you are dealing with a legal issue or divorce issue that is coming up. Then I see um, a lot of you are worried about um, the outcomes of your divorce um, and how this is going to be affecting you moving forward. So when we look, who are you dealing with? Um, a lot of you are dealing with a, um, a Sagittarian, um, um, a Leo, uh, an Aquarian, um, and, and divorce. This is divorce. Um, if you notice, it's the judge and the um, justice and a corporation, justice and a corporation. So I see it, it has to do with justice and a corporation. So let's go in the first week. I see some sort of a news is coming in for you men. And uh, whatever this news is, is that someone wants to end some sort of a relationship or connection with you men. Now, a lot of you men had some sort of a strong feelings for this person, but whatever is happening and transpiring, this person wants to end the connection. A lot of you, some sort of uh, information is coming in uh, from a, a Virgo or a Taurus man. Um, this person, um, some of you cancers could have been in a relationship or a marriage with this person. I see they're going to be asking for a divorce. So if you notice the news and justice and um, the hardship that you were having in this marriage or this relationship is now going to be over, it's going to be balanced out because I see you um, could be ending your marriage. Then we see in the second week, some sort of a new love is coming in. Um, a lot of you men um, is going to be, um, you know, you're 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 on your you're looking for a new love because uh, um, you're divorced. You realize that your wife no longer loves you, and I see a year going through the, the, the divorce, and it's Christmas. So I see you're looking for new love, and you are your options is open all over the place, and I see that uh, people are going to be finding out that some of you. Men were in relationships and was meeting people at your workplace. So your wife is going to be finding out about that. Um, so be aware of this, that um, you men, uh, when you were working and you were in the fields, you were seeing multiple partners. So this is going to be coming out. Um, in the third week, I see that some of you men realize that uh, um, your marriage is over, whatever is transpiring. And it, it could be women or men, um, but I, I get men. Some of you men are going to be just realizing that your marriage is over. Um, your marriage could be final in the month, the last week in December. So some of you men are going to be really feeling the pain 
or feeling it or realizing that your marriage is over is there sadness no not really because i see that some of you already decided to move on so i see no sadness so a lot of you just realize that um with the marriage end you have to be paying for child subsidy and alimentation so that is going to be costing you a lot of, out of your pockets and this is why i say to people all the time before you get married or you're making a decision um, to get married, always, always think about the repercussion. Always think about the repercussion, ladies and gentlemen, because it is better for you to be single um, than to be married. Because whenever you're divorcing, and especially if you, you know, people get married because of the sense of being married, but never realize the repercussion and all the things that is connected with this and how this career a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues afterwards and i see that some of you are going to be some of you cancers are going to be realizing that you know i wish i i did not make this decision a cycle is now over um a lot of you is realizing that uh, um, a cycle is now over. Okay, it is as if you will you had no, um, you were not aware that uh, this marriage or this situation would have, uh, um, you know, over so quickly. However, this is happening and transpiring is as if some of you realize that, uh, um, your marriage is 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 now on the rocks. Your marriage, and especially for people who are in or married to a fire sign person, you're going to be realizing that this fire sign person have already moved on. Okay. Um, this fire sign person was really controlling and you're going to be realizing that this fire sign person has moved on with their lives. And I think you're going to be realizing um, that you are free from the control issues that you were dealing with by this fire sign person. But you're going to be start questioning yourself. Is this what I wanted? Um, was this what is good for me? So a lot of you are going to be starting to question and question it and questioning a whole lot of information, questioning yourself about your life and your marriage and your relationship. So I see a whole lot of question is coming up. A lot of you, someone could have passed away, a fire sign person, and you're realizing that your control over this person is what makes you lose the person. And some of you could have been controlled over this person. Some of you um, was controlled by this person. And you're going to be realizing this is the reason why you have lost this person. And you're going to be realizing um, how you can um, heal relationship in the future and understanding that, yeah, um, nothing is uh, um, set in stone. It's as if you're going to be realizing that um, you don't, you don't, nothing, nothing, um, nothing is set in stone. You're going to be realizing that a time as it's um, time changes, Whatever is happening, time changes and the cycle um, that you have been going through with relationship and love, this is over. So a lot of you men could be receiving um, some sort of a message that your um, partner, um, you know, don't want to move forward with you. And the inevitable is here because you can see the energy of justice. So. So this is all about divorce. It's not all about marriage. This is about divorce. Um, the four of ones is uh, in the reverse. A lot of you are going to be facing the uh, benevolent of divorce could be affecting your life, especially you men that thought that your marriage was going to be lasting for a very long time. You could be receiving some sort of a uh, um, a letter of a divorce is going to be coming in. So be aware of this. Uh, no love has been offered um, to um, you um, guys. Whatever is happening because of a divorce, a lot of you are going through some um, issues. And I see a lot of you who are in a relationship with an Aquarian start to um, question your relationship with this Aquarian. You really start to question 
the relationship if it was the right thing for you to do. So it's about reconnecting with your own self in order to understand what was happening. Because a lot of you who are seeing an Aquarian, um, you're going to be realizing that um, the Aquarian has a lot to do with the end of your marriage. And you're going to be um, trying to figure out, was that the right thing? Because it's as if you're realizing that you're missing... Um, your marriage is, is that you find out that um, in the beginning of this month or in the second week uh, that, you know, your marriage is really, really over. And here it is that you're wondering, did I make the right move of divorcing my wife in order to be with someone else? So I see this is going to be a month where a lot of people are going to be questioning, 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 questioning a lot of information, trying to figure out uh, what was happening, questioning themselves about the decision that they have made, questioning themselves to find out if they had made the right decision. And I see a lot of this is going to be coming up for you cancers in uh, this month. So it is a, it is a situation where a lot of you cancers... Uh, could be um realizing that um a divorce is going to be costing you more than staying in the marriage so this, these are questions that is going to be coming up that is going to be affecting a lot of you mentally where you're trying to be figuring out what is the right move to me i gotta say namaste um cross watch go see who is your partner and how their lives is affecting them so you can make the right decision I got to say Merry Christmas and Namaste. On Welcome, time. Scorpions. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for um, the wonderful likes and share. Please remember to cross watch and see what is coming up for your partner if you have one. All right, Scorpions. So what we see here is love yourself first, Scorpion. Love yourself first. A lot of you, Scorpion have been given yourself away and you need to love yourself first. A lot of you Scorpions are going to be ending a marriage or a relationship. Um, um, some of you Scorpions are regretting a marriage or a relationship. You're really regretting some sort of a marriage where you realize that you have offered yourself and didn't love yourself enough to um regain balance uh, um where your partner took some sort of advantage of your heart um i see justice is here scorpion and uh, um i see the end with a karmatic relationship for some of you i see is as if the universe have stopped in and realized that someone has uh, created a whole lot of issues for you scorpion Whoever this person is, is a karmatic uh, relationships that you were dealing with. This person has created a whole lot of problems and I see justice is here. I see no love is offered to some of you, Scorpion, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see you have no love that is offered. Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see you are trying to get out of a situation because uh, you realize you regret a marriage or a relationship that you were in. So um, a lot of you are going to be divorcing, but a lot of you are divorcing and it's getting out of some horrible, horrible um, div uh, marriage that you were in and realizing that it didn't work. It, and you're going to be choosing to love yourself. Um, I see a lot of you, Scorpion, are not offering any love. I see uh, people are coming in to you. A lot of you, Scorpion, regret ever married to a cancer, whatever has happened and transpiring. I see you really sit and you're regretting marrying to a cancer because you realize that this cancer has created a whole lot of issue in your world. A lot of you regretted being in a relationship with a Aquarian. Whoever the square Aquarian is, you realize that this Aquarian was only in the relationship for money. I see a lot of you regretted ever married to this person. So it is all about marriage. Now, when we look at relationships, relationships or karmatic as relationship, a lot of people are walking away from karmatic relationships. A lot of people 
um, or just leaving their relationship behind and moving forward. A lot of you um, had some sort of a karmatic relationship you were dealing with and you're leaving it moving up, uh, moving forward. A lot of men have regrets. I see a whole lot of men have a whole lot of regrets about their marriages, a whole lot of regrets about having an affair, a whole lot of regrets about relationship that they got caught up in and was not really seeing that these people were not in the relationship for their better good. I see a lot of you are ending some sort of a marriage with a cancer. I see no love is offered to this cancer. I see a corporation really came down on this cancer and show up this cancer for who they are and what they have done. A lot of you um, are ending um, and separating. I see a lot of separation is happening um, in a, a marriages and relationship. When we look at marriages, a lot of you are going to be regretting um you're going to be realizing that um there is no nothing else that is old in this marriage or relationship together so you're going to be deciding to move on a lot of you i see um uh you're going to be open if you're single and you're open to love a lot of admirers or a lot of uh, um people are out there who is uh, Hoping to be in a relationship with you, Scorpion. So this is good. I see a lot of you, Scorpion, is happily getting out of some sort of a marriage and understanding that, you know, there are other people, um, better people out there. A lot of you could be leaving some sort of a relationship and reconnecting with a, someone from a past life, okay? So it's as if this, um, you had, uh, have a contract with this person from past life to come in and um, this person is going to be coming in but it's not in this month it's as if you're going to be going through a rough period where you're understanding that um, you need time to heal before you move forward in another relationship because um, it's about healing a lot of you who are in um a relationship or a marriage with a cancer you're going to be finding out that this cancer has been two time in you for a very very long time and uh, um you you're going to be understanding the where, where you have uh, gained some sort of uh, um momentum to find out that um you need to love yourself more because you have been given too much to a marriage or a relationship, okay? So I see a lot of you are going to be choosing yourself over a marriage and it is because you have given so much to this marriage, so much to this other person and this other person has created so many issues and problems for you and you're going to be regaining balance in order to realigning yourself in a very positive way. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, you're going to be understanding where you are in the position that you are in your life with a marriage or with a relationship or with a connection um, where what it is that you need to understand about this person or the person that you're sharing your life with. So I see a lot of you Scorpions is going to be recognizing that you need to love yourself and choose choose for um, you. Um, also, when you're in a relationship, you can't just, a relationship is based on 50-50. And if you're given 100% um, and the other person is given 2%, that's, that doesn't work. Relationships is based on 50-50, okay? Marriages is based on 50-50. So it doesn't really matter what is the connection, whether it's a marriage or a relationship. You need to be aware of what you're dealing with and how you are definitely balancing out your life and how you're balancing out um, the problems that you're dealing with in relationship, where are they coming from? and how they are affecting you at this moment. So I see it's like a month of revelation that is coming up for people to understand what is love and what is love is all about. Is it about giving, giving, giving? 
I see some sort of a sadness is coming up for a lot of you, especially a lot of you Scorpion that has connected with a cancer or had been married to a cancer or had lived with a cancer. You're really having a whole lot of regrets. So there is no question about this. You can see um, the energies that is coming up. So I see some sort of a, a news is going to be coming in for some of you men. Um, and this news is going to be affecting you in some sort of a ways where um, a lot of you men have turned your back on a love and moving forward. And it is uh, um, as if some of you have ended some sort of a relationship with a Libran. So I see a corporation came down on a Libran and uh, this Libran could have been your partner. And uh, um, whatever has transpired, I see some sort of an information is coming from a Libran, but you have already moved on. So however this is playing out for you, Scorpions, you're going to be realizing that um, whoever this Libran is and whatever that was transpiring, you have moved on. You're turning your back on this Libran. You're taking your life back. You are so, um, you are so sorry about what uh, you have done to this person and how you have created some sort of an issue for other people in your world. It could be in laws. And I see that you guys are just really turning your back to this person. Whoever that was in some sort of a hardship with a cancer, this is now going to be over. I see you're letting go of this person out of your life. You're really, um, finally, you have end the um, affair with this person or the connection with this person because you realize that this person had created a lot of issues for you in your life. You regretted um, this relationship and this connection that you have had because you realize uh, what this person has not bring you any happiness uh, in your world, but has only bring you sadness and uh, the inevitable of uh, all the things that has transpired in this relationship or this connection could be um, um uh, it's as if you, you didn't have to go through all of this if that person was being um, honest to you in the beginning. So I see um, a lot of regrets, regrets, and this regrets uh, that has happened in your life is only to teach you to learn to love yourself. And this is wonderful because um, I think that you, Scorpions, is going to be aware of who you are in this period and understand how to protect your heart moving forward. A lot of marriages is about uh, a lot of people in marriages are regretting or having a whole lot of regrets for some reason. A whole lot of people who are married is having regrets. And um, I, I think that you, Scorpion, is just going to be choosing for yourself and understanding to love yourself and choose for yourself. However, this is coming up and transpiring. Um, you're going to be realizing and understanding that it is about loving yourself and it's about connecting with yourself and it's about being there and creating um, happiness in your world and learning to love yourself unconditionally before you're going to be opening up your heart to love another person. So wonderful alignments of energy and whatever is happening, I see duality is working for a lot of you um, scorpions. A lot of you scorpions are working on the energy of duality. So you could be healing um, ex-marriages, um, uh, ex-relationships, ex-friendship uh, um, you know, or that sort of a thing that has transpired. A lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a news from a cancer, but I see you're not open to this person. I see you regretted ever having any connection with this person for whatever the reason is. So you regretted you have so much regrets dealing with this person, ever open to this person. So I see you're going to be like uh, blocking this person and cutting this person out of your life. And I think... Instead of you are going to be having an argument with a person, it's better to just block this person and understand where you are and uh, um, stand your grounds. I got a girl. I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas. Namaste until next time. Mm -hmm.